Yeah. I love all bitches. Brown square over bitches. Rich poor slave bitches. Smart dumb crazy bitches. Rude horny dirty bitches. Hey guys, what's going on? So I think I make a, a follow-up video uh, talking about uh, BA. It's not like a follow-up video, but it's just talking about these boots. And um, if BA is worth doing anymore, and I will, you know, I want you guys to keep in mind, BA is getting updated sometime in the future. Um, there was a poll for it. That's the one that passed. So it looks like BA will get updated. So uh, it's kind of hard to say, you know, what's going to happen to it. But at the moment, I, you know, this information will be for, you know, what's currently, you know, happening right now. Um, you know, there might be an update. Well, there will be an update for BA. I'm not too sure if it's going to make it faster or better or better bonus agility or, you know, fire making and uh, mining. Don't really have a clue yet. I'm just going to go off what the stats are right now, at least for BA. Now, if you guys know what BA is, it's Barbarian Assault. I want to keep this as clean and crisp as I can so everyone understands. Now, at the moment, if you guys were to make a BA team, at least for the high level players, um, since we have a lot of, you know, I guess you could say good defenders and good healers and things like that. Um, our laps of, uh, well, our, I guess a lap is kind of doing uh, wave 1 to 10, basically a queen. Uh, we, you could call it a lap or a queen or whatever you want to call it, but basically doing wave 1 to 10. Right now, guys, for us, it currently takes around 15 minutes on average. That's, that's a good average, though. 15 minutes per queen. It's pretty good. Some people get like 17 minutes, 18 minutes. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the example of 15 minutes per queen uh, which is pretty damn fast. It's not an incredible team, but it's it's a very it's above average team, I would say, which is kind of around the time I normally get with my friends. Um, and from doing that, guys, I get around 102k bonus agility experience. I'm just going to give that to 100k um, just to make it a little bit easier for myself and you guys probably as well. So at the moment, if your goal, you know, like I say, you know, wearing these boots, your goal is to get 200 mil agility over time. You're going to accumulate it over time. Um, is it worth doing BA anymore? Uh, now, as you guys saw by my other video, training many, many stats right now will easily get you 200 mil agility. You know, you get 200 mil divination, you get 200 mil runecrafting. I think you'll already have 200 mil agility through just those two stats. Uh, so by far, you'll easily get 200 mil agility through training all your stats without bonus status, without doing BA, without any of that crap. So if money is not an option, I mean, money is not a problem for you, no matter what, it's not worth doing BA anymore. If you have unlimited money, you don't even care, your mom's debit card's maxed out, you're good to go. You just, you know, won't really affect you anyway. You guys won't really need to listen too much. If you have unlimited money, um, do not do BA is basically what I'm t telling you right now. But for all you people that aren't as rich, obviously, as those people, uh, I will give you guys a few statistics and a few stats on, you know, if it's still worth doing BA and how much money you save doing BA and how much you can make doing other methods. And I'm sorry if I kind of assume that most of you are max. I'm not, I'm not assuming you guys are max. I'm just giving you guys the methods that us players would use um, to make our money. Or to, to, you know, to do BA, you know, 15 minutes times like that. Um, you know, not everyone will get 15 minutes, I guess. It'll take you a little while to uh, to get the team like that. I will say it mostly depends on your defender if you guys are doing BA. Collector doesn't really change the time at all. Attacker doesn't really change the time at all. You just attack them while they come out and you should normally finish before anyone else. Um, healer and defenders are the only ones that really affect the BA time. So make sure those two roles are filled with people that are good at it and experienced and you should be good to go. So anyways, right now, if you guys go to World 2, I think Feather's around 11k each at the time of this recording. I just bought 1,000 just recently. Um, so if you get 102k agility, like I said, we're going to round up to 100k, you will save around 1.1 million GP every round you do of BA, which brings you to, uh, if you do 15-minute rounds, that will bring you to, what, 4.4 million an hour? You can basically save yourself 4.4 million GP an hour doing BA, you know, four rounds, you know, uh, I'll take you one hour, you'll get 100 and, or four. 408k bonus agility just round that down to 400k so there is no possible way of you guys ever being able to make you know that much money 4.4 mil in one hour uh over time at least that includes you know doing bossing and things like that then ba is definitely worth your time now the first thing i'm sure many of you guys probably think about for making money is queen black dragon it's a very you know typical monster that many people kill for money very very good boss to kill for at least concurrent money you will always get a good amount of money each kill and it's very, very effective if you want to do it for an hour. You'll always make around the same money, unless you get like a visage here and there, which happens quite often, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I, I believe Queen Black Dragon is set to be around 5 mil an hour. Everyone kind of says that. 4 to 5, I would say, maybe even 6. It really just depends. Um, but it's always going to be around there if you can get quick, quite quick kills. Uh, I believe using Dragors is the best method. I guess if you have Seismics, it's not bad either. I would assume it's probably good as well. But I think Dragors is probably the most affordable method. Uh, and if you don't have those use chaotics, it's not too much of a big difference. But obviously, you know, 
my four to five million hour will be just using Dragors and Bangles armor. If you got anything less, you'll make a little bit less per hour, obviously. Now, yes, Queen Black Dragon is one method to go for sure for doing this. Um, but I'm starting to think that probably the most effective way to make your money, um, this is for if someone is going for tool removal all stats, obviously. Um, I think it would definitely be killing things like Aerots, maybe even Frost Dragons. Why do I choose these over something like Queen Black Dragon? Queen Black Dragon, I think, is I think it's around 100 and something K like attack experience an hour or strength, whichever one you're training with for combat. Um, I think it's around 100 or 150k. I'm not too sure. It's not that much experience because I think it's like 5k experience to kill, including HP. So it's not too great um, for how long how long it takes you to kill it. So basically, if you are someone that goes and gets themselves 200 mil Slayer experience, you will have combat experience left still to train. You will have a lot of range experience still to train. Uh, I think right now, if you go and chin yourself like 150 million range experience, you will still not get 200 mil range through doing Slayer unless you use Ascension bows while slaying, which isn't really too effective compared to, you know, Dragors or using a Seismic. So it kind of rules out range. You can, you can you can chin or whatever you want, however you want to train range. Uh, all you want, and it really won't affect your Slayer too much because you don't really use a cannon too much anymore. And when you do, you don't get that much range experience anyways. Now killing something like Aerox, you can do, you know, using either note papers or you can use a pack yak, bring some food in your inventory, fill up your pack yak with the bones, put them in there. And you, you can easily bank and you can easily teleport back with the Phoenix teleport thingy from, you know, you get from uh, Clue Scrolls. Um, so that's a really good thing for Aerots. You can easily get there and easily bank uh, without really wasting too much time. And you can just put the bones in your pack yak. I would probably rather use the method with the note papers, you know, uh, fill up a pack yak with food in case you get owned or some shit. And then, you know, start killing them. And as you get like 20 bones in inventory, use a note paper on it and, you know, you'll be good to go. Now the money you make per hour, I believe that's something like Aerot, is around three to four mil if you collect all the bones, so I think around 10K each right now. Um, so I mean, you can make very, very good money there. That's not including all the little drops, by the way. You're not gonna kill like 380 of them in that hour, uh, but you will get you know a lot of rune items. You will get some scales. You will get, you know, maybe some effigies, maybe some of the gloves, the razor back gloves, whatever. So I don't think they're really worth too much because I believe those ones fully degrade. Um, so they're like one mil or something like that, but very, very, uh, you know, uh, concurrent drops. You'll get a lot of drops from killing those things. Rune spears, especially. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember my Slayer tab video where I finished price checking my bank, and a lot of the stuff came from those. You know, Addy bars are like freaking three, four k each. Drop six of those. Drops all the lance and dwarves. If you pick up all that stuff, you will definitely get a lot of money per hour. Now this is where the math sort of comes in. So if you guys are making around three to four mil an hour, depending on exactly how much it is. Um, this is probably with using Dragors, by the way. Little tip for you guys, if you guys want to kill Aerots, by the way, whenever, I believe it's whenever they hit their chest, you want to use the Flurry ability, which you can use if you have, you know, dual weapons, because uh, it basically stuns it, and then you start hitting, I believe, 50% harder on them. I've hit, like, a, I think it was an 8,000 or some shit using Assault on them whenever they were uh, stunned with my Flurry. So, uh, you know, you guys want to have that. I mean, it's just a little extra tip if you guys want to know, so you guys will hit a lot harder. Uh, and when you hit something like that, you definitely soul split a lot of your HP back, so you probably won't ever die. Now, the reason I would probably choose this method over something like Queen Black Dragon is because of the combat experience you get. Um, now, this is the math that I've at least you know come up with. So, if you were to kill these things, you're going to obviously waste some experience uh, picking up the drops while killing these things. Ideally, you want to probably kill Aerots or Frost Dragons after you finish with Twin or Mill Slayer uh, to finish off your combat or your melee experience at least you'll probably want to kill Aerots or Frost Dragons. So you're already going to be killing these anyways. Um, so, you know, it's, it's already like your saving experience. So let's just say if you were to be picking up drops, you're going to waste 25% of the money per hour, that you, or the experience per hour that you could be making. So instead of getting, let's just say, 400k uh, strength experience an hour, you're going to get 300k. So you're going to basically be losing 15 minutes, which is 100k combat experience. Um, but yeah, basically every hour that you train while picking up drops, you'll be losing 15 minutes out of that hour but you'll be making you know three or four million GP in that 15 minutes of time that you wasted. Um, so pay, basically you're making over 10 mil an hour on you know how much time you're actually wasting compared to things like Queen Black Dragon. You know you spend an hour there, you make you know four or five mil, um, but you only really save yourself like maybe five or 10 minutes of actually training. That might be hard to understand for some of you guys that aren't really thinking about twitterable stats. I understand, but just take take my word for it. You're much better off killing things like Aerods. I think Frost Dragons are also good, 
but uh, it takes a while to get there, and I think they're kind of annoying to kill with the blue ball thing. Um, arrows are definitely more relaxing and easy, and uh, you know, easy to get there. You know, bank and things like that in case anything happens. If you ever die by accident, easy to get there, anyways. But yeah, basically, out of every hour of training at arrows and picking up all the drops. Um, you're going to lose about 15 minutes of time every hour you know, that you could have obviously been killing them instead of picking up things. Now, that's a very rough estimate. It could be better than I mean, you might not waste exactly 25% of your time. That is a rough estimate, but I'm just, I'm being more, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of what, what it would be. I'm not going to actually go do this for an hour because I'm max combat anyways. But I would assume it's around there. You probably go 25% slower picking up all the drops using note papers on them and things like that. So every time you kill four aerots, I'll kill three and then I'll pick up my drops. Seems pretty accurate. But yeah, if you're lucky enough basically to make three or four mil an hour on aerots, uh, it technically, you only wasted technically 15 minutes of your time in that hour uh, where you didn't gain any experience basically because you're looting things. Um, so definitely if you're going for efficiency, it's much better to do things like aerots versus queen black dragon. Um, but you know, it kind of depends on which one you, you, you know, you prefer, I guess. Um, obviously things like BA, you lose 100% time because you're not really gaining any experience at all. But you are saving that 400k agility right there with the with the you know one hour run, and um, basically each hour run will be worth you know 4.4 mil worth of feathers that you now don't have to spend anymore because you have bonus agility. So you know that's a really good method to save yourself some money. I guess it really comes down to which method you enjoy training more. I mean you can always mix it up, right? Don't ever be afraid to mix things up like that. I find that will keep you probably more uh, into the game than just doing one method throughout you know the entire time you train it. Um, you know, do some BA if you want, do some Aerots, do some Queen Black Dragon, whichever one you're in the mood for. Um, but just make sure basically you're always wearing these boots while you're on this game. But yeah, I do believe that Aerots are better experience than Frost Dragons now. I, actually, no, I think they're a little bit less actually, but, um, or is it money? I think it's it's either money, there's, there's, they're less money an hour than Frost, or they're more, less experience. It's one of those. Uh, I never really trained there because I was always done my combats anyways. Uh, so I can't give you guys the exact info on that, but I can already definitely tell that, you know, you won't waste any time basically being on aerots, only, you know, a quarter of your time will be wasted picking up the drops. Now, <laughs> fuck, I almost choked them out and got in spit. Here's a very, very rough estimate. If you guys were to go right now to B8, get yourself 100 million bonus agility, uh, you would basically save yourself right now 1.3 bill, but it will take you around 250 hours, I believe, if each queen you take about 15 minutes to kill. That's 400k bonus an hour. You will save yourself around 1.3 billion GP and you'll use up around 250 hours of time. Which basically means if you guys can play this game and 250 hours of sitting on your ass playing this game, you can make at least 1.3 bill. It's probably not worth doing BA. Now, I think doing things like bossing, um, I believe the best money in the game now is actually doing the barrels instead of the doing Virago because Seismic One is quite low now, obviously. Uh, but I believe back when Seismic Wand was like max cash, you could easily make more than 1.3 bill in the matter of 250 hours of Varag. I mean, that's only like two wand drops back then with like a five man or six man team. That's like two wand drops in like fucking 250 hours of Varag. I'm sure you'll get that. So if you are someone that makes insane money from PVM um, and you enjoy PVM especially and you know, you probably hate BA, I would assume, um, you're definitely better off just to uh, not do BA, buy more feathers. And, um, you know, just make your money through things like PVM if you want. But as I said, the most efficient way probably to do it would probably be killing things like Aerots and probably Frost Dragons as well. But yeah, guys, that is my, uh, I try to make it short, but there's no possible way you can only make this short because you kind of have to explain a few things. Um, yeah, we're almost at 14 minutes, fuck's sake. Hey, you guys enjoy the longer videos apparently, so we're good to go. But yeah, as for me, guys, I don't think I'll actually be doing BA anymore myself. Um, it feels kind of odd not having bonus experience in agility and you're only getting 860 XP drop versus the 1,720 I would normally be getting. Um, but I mean, I guess it's kind of the way this game is now. Anyways, there's my current rate so far for today. Uh, I do have bonus divination, as you guys know. So I got 101k divination today and 46k agility experience, which obviously does make my other video quite accurate. Uh, 100 mil divination will get you 46 million agility experience. So yeah, just around 90 million or around there agility experience from getting 200 mil divination without any bonuses at all. Pretty damn OP, man. These boots are definitely a game changer. But um, anyways, I guess uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope it's helped a few of you guys think about what's worth doing and what's not worth doing. Um, but yeah, as for me right now, I probably won't be doing BA at this moment. If I have some friends that want to invite me, you know, maybe I'll think about joining for a few rounds, but it's something I probably don't really want to do for, you know, a month or some crap. 
Um, which, you know, I guess is okay. I, didn't, I never really enjoyed BA too much. I don't mind doing BA for a few rounds, but after like five or so rounds, it gets kind of, ooh, my ships are in. Nice. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys are enjoying these long videos, be sure to tap that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.